So today I want to run through the maggot rigs that I use when I'm fishing on Snake Lake venues. We're here today at Aston Park and we're on Butts Lake and it's a typical Snake Lake venue and it's the perfect place to demonstrate this style of fishing. So the rig for the deeper water is Yellow Hydro. The reason I'm using Yellow Hydro today is because there's a lot of silverfish in this lake like Hyde and Chub so I just want to make sure I'm not bumping any of them off. But if I was going to somewhere like Partridge where there's mainly bigger F1s, I'd stick to Pink Hydro, just to like allow me to land the fish a bit easier. The main line is 013 Reflow Power Line, which is still nice and durable for this time of year. I can fish anything up to my 014 tournament hook length with it if I want to, just nice and strong. I've got two number eight back shot. The reason I use this is because you often get quite a lot of skim on these sort of venues, especially when fishing with light floats like I am today. So I'm just trying to make sure I can hold my rig nice and in position. The float is a 4x10 RW Maggie. It's got a 1.5mm tip, a slim body, and crucially it's got a carbon stem, which just allows me to, when I lay my rig in, it just follows the shot down lovely, and it's just a bit better when fishing with baits like maggots. Also today, I've gone for a 4x10 float because it's only 3 foot deep here today. If it was a bit deeper, I'd tend to stick up to a 4x12 or a 4x14, depending on the conditions. But today, I've gone for a 4x10. The shotting pattern down the middle, I always stick with a bulk and two droppers. The reason I do this is because generally, you're fishing down the middle later in the day when the fish turn on the feed. So by having a bulk, it allows me to get the rig down quite quick and it still comes in nice and slowly in the last sort of 18 inch of the rig uh, and just presents it to the fish nicely. And because it's quite shallow today, I've gone for a four inch hook length. That's 010 Daiwa Tournament line. And I've got an 18 F1 maggot hook, which I like that hook when there's a few silvers about. Um, it's just a nice delicate hook. But if, as we're going into spring, I'm gonna step up to my F1 pellet hooks in an 18 or a 16, just to allow me to get them bigger fish in a bit quicker. So the rig for fishing across in the shallower water is quite similar in terms of the elastic, the line, the float and the hook length is exactly the same. Because it's quite shallow today, I've decided to fish in just over two foot of water. On a lot of commercial venues, I'd probably stick to three foot at this time of year, but with it being quite shallow, I've just condensed everything on my across rig as well. So again, I've got a 4x10 float, but the main difference is this shotting pattern. When I'm fishing across, I tend to stick with a strung out shotting pattern. This just allows it to fall through nicely and if you've got a bit of a slope, it just lays along the slope nice and shows up your bites really well. I've got number 11 shot and they're spaced out around two inch apart going towards the hook and it just tapers up as I get further up the rig and it ends up around an inch apart. So like with all styles of fishing, accuracy is massively important and especially on a snake lake type venue where you've got a lots of different depths and it can be quite difficult to choose what depths of fishing. But what I like to do is I have marks on all my top kits and what that allows me to do is work out what depth I've got down the middle and then decide on my other rigs from there. So today I've got just over three foot. So if you were to just say, I want to fish in just around three foot across, you don't, couldn't find that today. So I've got to condense my rig a bit. So I'm fishing in just over two foot today. But if you were to go to somewhere a bit deeper, like at Partridge where it's five or six foot deep, you might want to fish a little bit deeper and three foot. And by marking it on the kits, you know exactly how deep you're fishing and how deep all your other rigs are based on the depth you've got down the middle. So now I just want to show the across rig in action. So firstly, draw me pot over my marker, tap 10 or 12 maggots in, lift the rig out, and lay it in slightly towards me just because I've got a slope going towards the island so I want to make sure that my rig's sat in the correct part of my peg and it's not laying over depth. Hold me back shot level with the water and just let me float sink slowly. See I had a little bite there on the settle and that's what exactly what you're trying to achieve. You're trying to let the bait fall slow and give the fish a chance to see the bait so that they'll snatch on it on the way down. So what you'll see, obviously, the float, what I'm using, it's a nice sensitive float, but it's also very visible with it being a 1.5mm hollow tip. 
which I think is very important because you often get broken light on these sort of venues and you want to be able to see it wherever you're going to drop it. And another small fish. So now I'm going to run through the couple of ways of presenting my rig when I'm fishing down in the deeper water with the Bulkman 2 droppage rig. Firstly, similarly to the across rig, I can lay it out on a tight line, hold my back shot level with the water and hold it dead in line with my marker. Then I can feed over the top and the rig is settling in the, through the peg slowly. Oh, and I had a little bite then. The other way of doing it, when there's a few more fish feeding and you're wanting to get to the bottom quicker, is to lay me bulk dead in line with my marker and just fold my rig on top of my bulk and there it'll cut straight away and it's just getting it down a bit quicker when there's a few more fish feeding. <laughs> 